Hi, this is Adam Kunzmiller with Board Game Geek at Gen Con 2016, and I'm joined by Garrick Schertz with Great Northern Games. We're here to talk about Council of Blackthorn. So what is Council of Blackthorn? All right, so Council of Blackthorn is a board game for two to six players that plays in about 45 minutes to 90 minutes, depending on number of players. And the game is you play a council member on the King's Council. There's six in the box. And as a council member, you want to gain influence in the four factions in the kingdom to become the most influential council member. Okay. Be advisor to the king. Whoever's the most influential at the end of the game wins. However, as you play the game, the king will get suspicious of your power grab. Naturally. And you'll get treason cards. And so they can range from zero to three points. At the end of the game, whoever has the most treason points is beheaded. And then the remaining council members, most influential So the most wins. influence while not having the most treason is what you're aiming Correct. for. Correct. Yep. So how the game works is uh, everybody will get a hand of five cards. I've got some out here. And on the, on the beginning of your round, the dice will be rolled. And then you'll take an action from your character card. Or if you've played a building earlier, you can take an action from there. And then you'll play a card. And so, for example, I played the princess, which is a noble card. So over here on the noble track, I would move my token up one, because the die is a one, Got on the it. noble track. Now, in addition to that, if I've gained enough influence in the guild, so if I'm at four or higher in the guild, which I am, I'm at five, I also get to do the text. If I wasn't at, if I was below four, then I don't get to do the text, but I, do, I just do the moving up. So as I, after that, um, I draw a new card, and then I score points. If I'm ahead on any one of the tracks, I would score two points. If I was tied for the lead, it's one point. So I'd score two points over there. So at the end of the game, and that occurs when three of the tracks have somebody on the 13, okay. we'd add up the points from each one of the four factions, um, the points that have grabbed throughout the game, and that's your total score. Now the trick with the dice is, there's, the sides are 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, and 3. So when you play on a 3, you automatically don't get the text on the card. But you get the big adjustment. You so. get the big adjustment, mm -hmm. and since the king sees your big uh, power grab, you gain two treason cards. On the flip side, if you play on a 0, you kind of lay low, so you get to take your stack of treason cards that you had, and have an opponent randomly choose randomly one. Randomly choose one. So it's a way to so cash shed in suspicion. some of that treason that you've maybe accumulated. Right, exactly. The final type of card in the deck are whisper cards. So this is a good way to give all the other players treason. So you get one free level on a faction, and then the leader in each one of the factions has to take a treason card. So that's another way to spread rumors or. Uh, suspicion about the other players. And so, uh, two to six players, 45 to 90 minutes. All right, looks great. And so, you know, there's a lot of, you know, balancing all of the tracks so that you can get points here while also triggering the events that are elsewhere and things right. like that. Right, so you, one of the strategies that I like to do is move up on one track so then it starts triggering the cards for the next track. Right. Uh, and then it's a balance of jumping up, scoring those points, but keeping your head. All right, great. Well, thanks again. And once again, that was the Council of Blackthorn.